Hey everybody, how's it? Hello, this is Jeebs here, your old composer here at the Decomposer Lounge. And uh, it's a Sunday morning, and I know that a lot of you are probably halfway done with your morning, if not even into your morning, depending on, because being in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, time zones, it's a trip. On this side, in Australia, it's tomorrow. On this side, still yesterday. Today. I'm not even, I'm not even going to continue on that. <laughs> because I'm just like up in the morning, and my time zone in here is getting adjusted with my cup of coffee. Anyhow, uh, from Patreon, uh, I bring to you a band, never heard of, called Grish and the Chronicles, and the name of the truck, 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 the name of the track is Rock and Roll is Here to Stay. So let's check that out. All right. Right, there's no two ways about it that this band definitely shot for the sound of going for that all powerful 80s rock sound anthem style rock sound um, the guy's voice is absolutely insane and trying not to put my mind into the fact that this is a like like a tribute style band I don't know any of their music I don't know what the rest of the album sounds like but this guy's voice is as sizzling and ripping as any voice that I've ever heard that come out of the 80s. Even though I have a very, very, very small window of exposure to, to uh, metal and rock through the 80s. <clears throat> Obviously, this, this harkens back to the time. Uh, Production-wise, uh, the authenticity of them, if that is the intent of bringing back the old-style power uh, rock and roll, Nailed it all the way. The, and now I get it at the very beginning, the scratchy record sound and the little muted thing. It was like maybe it was an ode to the 80s. You know, put the album on, you know, this is what you were heard. <clears throat> but everything from the bass playing, the straight lines, that, that, that you know, straight grinding uh, drum side, and even the drums, even the way that they have the, um, the reverb kind of washed up onto the snare. Nice big banging snare sound. So it has a nice little ambiance in the back or kind of like a plate sound that has maybe about a two second like pow, boom, just very reminiscent of the 80, uh, of the 80s. And even even with the guitars, um, the whole look, obviously, now it, now it comes into play the look and the whole energy of the video is. But um, it's as if, if they took the best elements of the power uh, 80s rock um, performance, songwriting, singing, even the gigantic chorus with the big fat um, uh, harmonies and stuff, but recorded in the last, I don't know, this is released two years ago, so let's say the last five years, using the last five years worth of technology, it's just how crystal clear and powerful and clean, and especially with the guitar tones, they, they really, really sounds like they kept the guitar tones as raw and organic as possible but this is if if you were feeling that 80s vibe or something like that this is definitely sending up a, a, a big flag of uh, um, uh, of representation of that
Okay, I have to say that that now you stepped away a little bit from 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 that box that they established of this 80 sound. So now, because I heard already, <coughs> excuse me, a couple of times in the turnaround that the bass player did some phrasing that I was like, oh, wait, wait, you're getting, what kind of stepped a little away from it, but it doesn't matter. It sounded really good. Bass tone is very unique, very clean and stuff. I would have thought it would have been maybe a little more dirtier for something like this, but it still sounds great. The other thing is too, you know, the, the keyboard player is always off in the back, always usually is in the, in the metal bands and stuff off to the side and stuff, and was playing and I'm going, well, what's he playing? And I had to really, 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 really listen. And you can actually hear just a little bit of keyboard work going on there, kind of like it almost sounds like a clean um, uh, electric guitar holding a little phrase back there. But he represents, he's in there, so. Let me go back and give this guy a good start with his solo. Oh, of course, you got to do it with a fade. Come on, if you're going to do this right, you've got to fade it out. <laughs> hey, listen, I know that, um, you know, that sound obviously was very, a, a, a huge nod to the 80s sound. Uh, first of all, the guitar solo was sick. That was such a slash um, and authentic sounding. You know what I'm saying? It's like there wasn't any sweeps in there or large intervalli kind of things that are happening with today's style of, you know, uh, solos and stuff. Like they kept everything, just about everything. The, the little breakdown with the bass and stuff was, like I said, a little step. Like what, 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 what's he, that little bit of our, like a little current flair, let's just say. Uh, but you know, I've been doing this now on this channel for what, two years and change now. <clears throat> and you know, there's definitely major advance, advancements in the sounds of, of metal and rock and all the subgenres and stuff. But come to find out, and I'm reading comments in the last couple of years, there's still a very large core of rock and roll fans. And I'm not talking just because you're dated like boomers or something like that. That just straight four power rock and roll metal. That there seems to be not a lot of that out there. I think maybe, now this is where I think people might come for me in the comments, but I think uh, a lot of what's happening in current metal is is chasing the more technical uh, speed, technique, phrasing, uh, fusion-esque environment that is growing right now. Um, there's still all the core bands that have been around legacy bands for a very long time. Um, 
have transitioned a little bit, but they have that core audience that follows through. And I just, for myself, I'm sure it's out there somewhere, but there seems to be less and less and less bands releasing music that has this style of straightforward, you know, kind of rock and metal. I, I don't know anything about marketing. I don't know anything about audience and why and all that. It just seems that, you know, the times are changing and stuff. But I, I, I believe there's probably still a pretty huge uh, audience uh, that that visceral, hardcore, straight rock uh, kind of vibe. Uh, that audience is out there of all ages, you know, not just boomers or people who are old like me, but, you know, younger musicians or younger listeners or younger, just like I said, younger peer listeners that just want, <clears throat> you know, instead of, you know, which I love. <laughs> I love that. You can see how I moved to that. I'm like, eh. You know, but anyhow, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I really dug this. I hope these guys, it looks like they're killing it. This video has like over a million views and stuff a couple years ago. And uh, But leave me your thoughts. Tell me what you think. I am out of here. Have a great rest of Sunday or Monday or wherever you're at today. I'll see you next week. All right.